Now that we know that the British electorate has voted against staying in the European Union, there are some very, very important lessons that we have to draw, some for the short term and some for the long term. I think what we're facing here is more than just a question of the future of Britain. Indeed, this will show fault lines in Britain, which are not just questions of class, because it's not an upper class versus lower class issue. There are a number of upper class Brits who are for departure. It's not just a question also of um, right and left, of Tories versus Labour. The Labour campaign has been remarkably lackluster, and the Tories have been torn apart. Whatever happens in this, we have to see that in, within Britain, this is going to be a divisive issue for some time to come. But the real impact of Brexit is that on the European Union. If there is one thing about the EU that's been important over the last period of time, it's that EU needs momentum, and the EU has lost momentum. If there is Brexit, that means that a lot of the experiments in governance, in economic reform, and in structure will be badly hurt. So that's where we should see the immediate impact of a Brexit vote for leave. And in the long term, it'll be a very interesting question to see what happens within Britain socially and where Britain ends up, whether it ends up as an England, even without Scotland, whether it ends up looking to have more of a global role rather than just a European one, as it has had in the past. If indeed what we see here is this leave vote, what we're looking at is a major, major seismic shift in Britain and in the EU as a whole.